Hey everyone, it's Vintage Vinny and welcome to another one of my live sales where I share a bunch of items with you all and I hope sell them. I'm hoping the stream is a lot clearer. I'm going through YouTube this time. I'm not using StreamYard. So there is gonna be a little bit of a challenge for me because I'm used to doing things on StreamYard, not through YouTube specifically, but I just hope that the stream is much better. So I see a lot of familiar faces. I see D, Thrill of I see Cha-Cha and Lucid are here. Uh, Trisha, Sandy and Otto. Peterson is here. And a bunch of familiar faces. I see Janice Stevens is popping in as well. Looks a little different to me. I think it's flipped. Like I'm used to, yeah, it, it's weird. <laughs> Mayberry, I just saw a new name that I did not recognize. Mayberry Caboodles, welcome aboard. Black Dog Vintage and Antiques, hello, hello. And yes, Tim, Christmas with Jane Mansfield. You just can't go wrong. I see Helen Booty, New England Thrifter, Teofane. Lori's here, Tammy Renee, hello. Barbara Ann Bundo, Lois Hoover. Doug Grimes is here, we got Belinda Carroll, Connie Emmerich, hello everyone. I apologize if I started my sale later. I got off at 6.15, so literally I haven't even been home an hour. Hi, Kitchy Cat, and Chad is here as well. Can I click on you all's comments and they pop no, because it's not StreamYard. <laughs> like I said, this is new to me, going through uh, the tube itself, not StreamYard. So kind of learning how to work things. And Joanne Faber pops in. Hi, Yvonne. And Mom and Dad should be here too, I think. I see my mom. I think my mom will be calling out the uh, the people who win things tonight. And Aaron, Mr. Chapter 2, is here. Thank you, Aaron. I hope you and Alex's sale went well. Oh, by the way, happy belated birthday. Same to you, D. Hopefully I remembered the right dates. <laughs> I'm so twisted with everything that I got to do. Hi, Teresa. Okay. Mm. Cat hair in my top mouth. Ugh. Alrighty, so if there's anybody new here, what we do on this channel is this is a live sale, and I show you all an item. Like, let's say, let me just show you guys something that I think is fun, but it's not for sale. Like, let's say I show you all this fairy lamp here, and I say, okay, this is gonna be like 35 bucks, and the number is like two. So you type two into the chat, and then the first person who claims it is the winner. But this is not for sale, but I do have some Ellie Smith pieces tonight. This is the one piece of Moon and Stars that I'm keeping for myself, and hope to not break in the process. All right. So ba basically, make sure you all are set to live chat so that way you get the most accurate results. We do go by what we see on our end. If we do make a mistake, we'll try to fix it as best we can. We have two ways of offering things to you all. We do flat out prices, and then we also do offer ups, which is auction style. I guess YouTube doesn't like to hear auction for some reason. Hi, Pam. Oh, again, also make sure you all know, Pam is having a sale right after mine. Hopefully it either goes right up to hers at eight o'clock. Hopefully it won't take as long. And then also, Trisha Sandy and Otto is also having a sale at 10 p.m. Eastern. And I know, Pam, you were not feeling well there for a second, so I hope you are doing much better. So Stephen Fisher is here. Welcome aboard. Thanks for coming on. This is going to be really fun, and I hope you all will really enjoy what I'm offering. I feel like I forgot something else. Oh, yes. Make sure you are aware of where you are located, whether you're in the United States or Canada. Shipping to Texas and California can be quite pricey. Also, if you're in Canada, prices can be pretty uh, extravagant for you all too. And unfortunately, I hate having to charge as much as I do, but it is what it is, right? And I think that's about everything. So I've got a great assortment of goods tonight. So let's go ahead and get started. I think I'm gonna start with the moon and stars stuff that I showed on Instagram. Tanya T Tunnel, thank you for coming on. That's a new name to me. All right. I mean, like I tell you, 
Okay, that's just a to pop open. I've got a wide variety of different things tonight. I've got glass, I've got figurines, I've got some jewelry. I mean, there's so much, so much stuff that I've had sitting for a while. All right. So I, like I said, we are gonna start with the Moon and Stars pieces that I've picked up recently when I was in Pennsylvania. This is a lidded candy dish. It's a nice piece. No cracks, no chips that I can see. Let me measure it for you all so you know how tall it is. So we've got, let's see here. I'd say it's about five inches tall. Again, no cracks or chips. It's a really nice shade of green. It would look great with your Christmas items if you throw some peppermints in there or there are so many different things you could do with this. If I miss names, guys, I'm sorry. I'm just glad that the chat's not jumping through YouTube. Instead of StreamYard's been having some issues with that lately. So the candy dish can be yours for $14. $14, and it is, oh my gosh, it's backwards. <laughs> $14, number 22. $14, number 22 for the candy dish. I wonder if I can flip this around so you guys can see the numbers. I, I'm not happy that it's flipped. All right. I didn't hear what he said. He said numbers are fine, I guess. All right. All right, he said the numbers are fine. Okay, I can hear him shouting downstairs. So I do see Zen Zord picking that up. Thank you very much. We've got another piece of Ellie Smith. This is just a I guess you can call it a bud vase. This one measures a little over six inches, so like six and a quarter. Again, a really nice piece. You could put some poinsettias in here. You could do so many different things with that. Again, no cracks or chips. And the bud vase is $12, and it's number seven. $12, number seven for the bud vase. Hi, Jason and Rebecca, Mama's Treasures. All right, and Doug Grimes gets number seven. Thank you very much. Now this is an open candy dish. So you could literally just put peppermints in here, like out of the packaging or in the packaging. Again, no cracks or chips. This one sits at about three and a half inches tall. Again, really nice. And this one is $8, $8 and it's number 20, $8 number 20. I love peppermint candies or the small little candy canes that you can get. So $8 number 20 for the open candy dish. If it was not hot here today, thank goodness. All right, so let me push this to the side here. I do have one more piece of Ellie Smith. I'm not sure exactly what it is, if it's supposed to be a, another vase or it's supposed to be like a goblet, but I don't think it is because why would a glass have scalloped edges on it? But again, it's another nice piece, and this one measures 
Yeah, about five and a half inches tall. And this one is also $8. And it's number 12. $8, number 12 for the, I guess this is supposed to be another um, vase of some sort. Maybe it's an ice cream dish. I have no idea. Ugh, yeah. All right, Zenzord gets number 12. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, it could be a compote. I'm not exactly sure, though. It could be for Jello. yeah. So this is a really nice piece of pottery. I think it was meant to be an ashtray because we got the little grooves here for a cigarette. And it's in the shape of a cabin. And it is redware pottery. Oh, did you, Irene? Well, I hope you got some good, decent sleep. And since, you know, smoking is not really, you know, it's, it's just not as, I guess, prevalent in our society as it once was, smoking cigarettes, that is. What I was thinking somebody could do at Christmas time is they could burn, like, you know, like a incense of some kind in here and just watch the smoke trickle out of the chimney. And that's going to be a really easy shipper, too, because it's not very big. And this awesome piece, again, no cracks, no chips, can be yours for eight bucks, and it's number 17. Eight dollars, number 17, and yes, the smoke does come out of the chimney. Hi, Alex. Hope you had a good sale. By the way, that, um, that drawing that Bianca did of you guys when you were in the restaurant was really good. Better than my drawings. <laughs> All right, and I see Sue gets number 17. Thank you very much. Okay. So this is, I got two of these, and I know that these are very popular in our community here. So I do have some larger scotch tape tins, two of them. Oh, they're both the same. Oh, this one, no, this is different. This one is transparent. And this one is just plain old scotch tape. Just notice that now. These are, you know, they got some wear to them. Yes, she's very much popular. Is Nate here? Hi, Nate. Sorry, guys. I wish I could pull you all's comments up on the screen here, but I apparently am not used to going through YouTube. <laughs> but yeah, I've got two of these Scotch tape tins. I know these are very, very popular with you all. And these are, so, oh wait, here, let me show you all the dent because this one definitely has it. On the bottom here, there are definitely some dented places. Like right, let's see if it'll show, like right here where my finger is, there's a dent on the bottom. Is this one dented neat too? Oh, this one's just a little bit, Dirty on the bottom, but that's all right. Now I am asking $8 a piece. So the first two people that I see type in the number will get one. So again, these are $8 each. And the first two people who type in number 14 into the chat are the ones that are going to get one of these Scotch tape tins. So eight bucks, number 14. All right. So I see Belinda Carroll and I also see Cindy J. Thank you very much. Let me grab, I know I've got two other, did I price them? I know I have them somewhere. Oh, mom and dad, guess what I just found? Really? Lord, help me. Okay. So I have, this is from the 80s. I believe it's from the 80s. And I think it's maybe like a Barbie, like barbecue type thing. But I thought it would look really neat with like 
Christmas vignettes, like you put maybe some Santas on here, maybe some elves, maybe take one of the uh, Christmas hooks and hang an ornament from here. I can't remember where I saw the name on it, but I think upon doing research that it is from about 1989, but it is still a really neat piece to display. And it's in good condition. The sticker might have a little bit of residue because it is 32 years old. Yeah, absolutely a great for a vignette. I cannot remember for the life of me where I saw, oh, it's right here in the, like right here, it says A, and then I think it says made in Hong Kong. Yeah, it says made in Hong Kong. Yes, it could be a Santa throne. I mean, unless you want Santa to burn his butt not that he hasn't done it before going down all those chimneys, but if you guys would like to have the awesome fireplace for your vignettes, it's $8 and it is number four. $8 number four for the awesome 1980s fireplace. Hi, BJ. Is it very pixelated? I'm sorry. All right, and Dana gets it, number four, thank you. All right, I do have some fairy lamps. I apologize if it's pixelated. I don't know if my brother is going live right now on his gaming, because it, it looks perfectly fine on my end. All right, All right. dig this out of here. Yeah, it might not be real strong right now, but I apologize for that. All right, where is my note for this? Here we go. Okay, at least you guys can still see everything. All righty, so I do have two fairy lamps to share with you all tonight. Yeah, I'm, unfortunately, I'm not the only one. My brother is like the avid gamer in this household. So I do have two of these to offer you all. It's the Homco Cubist Spherical Fairy Lamp. I'm going to turn off the webcam, the webcam, turn off the black light real quick so you guys can see how nicely these glow. My mom and I were at TJ Maxx the other day, and I saw this big old thing of stringlets, and I'm like, you know what? I saw Thrift U have some of these for when they show different things. And look at that. That would look great lit up next to a Christmas tree or if you are doing other vignettes. Again, I only have two of them that I'm offering tonight and I'm hoping that you all will really like to have them. They're great for Christmas time or if you are doing something for summer. I've always said that these look great in your summer decor as if it, you're treating it like it's one of those lanterns that you light and watch go up into the night sky on the beach. That's just what I think of it as. And the first two people who I see in the chat will get one of these. It is a flat price. They are $25 each. So the first two people who put in the number 23 will get one of these really awesome Honko Cubist fairy lamps. So $25 each. Number 23. Okay. That's one way to give me a heart attack. Okay. Right, let me turn the lights back on. Hi, Will. Thank you for coming on. So I bought this, I think, when I was with Chad that one day. I'm not really sure what he is, but he looks kind of mean with those eyebrows. <laughs> He's kind of giving the side eye a little bit. Hey, Harry Humstone, welcome aboard. 
I'm not really sure what he's made of. It's almost like a, it's not chalk, or maybe it is like, like alabaster or something like that. He's, he's either really thrilled that he's playing the accordion or he's like, really? Um, no major chunks out of him, but there is a lot of paint loss, but he's still really fun if you are into like the shabby chic farmhouse warpy looking stuff. This is definitely up your alley. And he can be yours for seven bucks. And he's number 29. $7 number 29 for the pouty looking accordion player. All right. Yeah. So I thought this was really, really sweet. It's an angel and she's playing the triangle. Now she is marked left in Japan on the bottom of her. And it says NS, or no, hold on, SN67. No cracks, no chips, no repairs. This is bisque painted, like it's not like cold painted. So it's kind of got like a scratchy like chalkboard material. I'm like, ugh, just touching this right now. And this angel can be yours for only $7, number 19. $7, number 19 for the angel. All right, and I see Lois Hoover. Thank you very much. I believe I also got this when I was with Chad. It's a Napco mouse candle holder. Just the single one. I don't have the match to it. I believe it's from the 1960s, just judging by that Napco wear sticker. If they are older, like maybe early 60s, late 50s, early 60s, it'll be in the shape of kind of like what an artist puts their paint on, that palette. And then I think as the as time went on, they just changed it and put a square sticker on it. But she's really cute, he or she. There is some paint loss, as you can see on the front, like some scratchy paint loss. And then there is a little bit of paint loss on the back here. Hi, Pamela13. Sorry, guys, if I'm not paying attention to the chat. No cracks, no chips, no repairs. It's in pretty good condition. And this candle holder can be yours for only $7, and it is number 24. $7, number 24 for the mousy candle holder. Yeah, Chad, I think I picked this up with you when we were at Emmitsburg that one time, I think. All right, and I see Sue picking that up. Thank you, Sue. All righty, moving along here. Thought I had more than I did. Oh, this is really cool. It's a tin, and I think this is probably from the 50s, if I'm not mistaken, it, or maybe even older than that because of the look of the lady and the choir kids. She's playing what I think is maybe a sitar or something. Yeah, it's a, and it's a pretty big tin. Like, this is not, like, one of your small cookie tins. And it is made by Tin Deco.
and it measures approximately 10 inches long and it is about 10 inches wide and it is about three and a quarter inches tall. And it does have some issues, some dents and some dings and some scratches, but the image itself is in very good condition. And you all can have this really awesome tin for $15. $15 and it is number two. $15 number two for the really awesome Caroler tin. Oh, you feel better, Cheryl. That's that if you got the what did what did we get? The Pfizer? The second one kicked my butt. The first one did was okay. Like the first one didn't do much to me. It was the second one that really messed me up. Thankfully it was only for like a day. I was in bed for practically the whole day and I slept and I just ate. All right, so fifteen dollars number two for the Christmas tin. Yes, they do. I usually take them off when I package them up. Oh yeah, I, I knew I had them. I knew for a fact that I had them. They were just buried. So these are a different kind of scotch tape tin. Actually, they're not tin, sorry, they're boxes, but they're Photography tape. Never seen those before. And they're in plastic bags, so they are in the exact condition that they're supposed to be in. Well, that's good, BJ. So this is 19 millimeter by 54.8 millimeters. Hi, Brittany, Blind by Beauty. And yeah, they're definitely different, but they would look great with the scotch tape displays, like the tins and stuff. And the contents are in there. They're still there. I can feel them in the packaging. Yeah, a lot of them you usually see have the plaid design. I think I have one that I bought at one thrift store that doesn't have plaid on it, but it's still neat. And again, this is a multiple quantity offer. So the first two people that we see on our end are the ones who are going to get this. And I'm asking $9 each for them. And the first two people who put in the number five are going to get one of these. So $9 each, number five for the Scotch photograph photographic tape. So I see Katie has one. Is there anybody else that would like one? All right, and then Carrie, KCATX. Thank you very much. I knew those were hit in here somewhere and I was gonna be offering them to you all. Could have sworn. All right. Okay, so I do have I do have two spice tins, one for whole dill seed and one for paprika. Now this paprika one is not very old at all. It does have a barcode on the back. But, but I thought if you were doing your kitchen up in Christmas and you wanted something kitcheny, these two together would be fantastic. Now this one is older because if you see on the back, it says McCormick & Co. Inc. in Baltimore, Maryland. It does have a zip code, so it's after 1963, but it is still very fun. I do have, you know what, Alex? This is actually my guest room. I'm actually across the hall from my bedroom. So I've got some pinup up in my room, trust me. When I get it cleaned up, I wanna do a tour for you guys, because. If you all saw the last one that I did like years ago, it was probably like my first video. I had so much stuff up on my walls. It wasn't even funny. I damaged it. And here I'm trying to be really careful. 
because I don't want to do too much damage. I know, I definitely should put some pinups up in here. Yeah, barcodes were definitely in the 70s, but it's just not like older, older, like the 40s or 50s. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. I mean, if you guys saw the room, it, 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 yeah. Hi, Martha. So, yes, if you would like both of these tins, this is together. I'm not selling these individually. And both of these tins can be yours for $5. And if you would like them, you can type in number 30 into the chat. $5, number 30 for the two spice tins. Yeah, that, that was the room I had at my grandmother's house when we lived there. Yeah, there was so much stuff on those walls. Oh, uh, it was it was awful. <laughs> I literally, I did some damage onto those walls, let's just say, because when they had to paint it, when we sold the house, it was literally, there was so much, so many walls, I was really embarrassed. But then again, we were there for six years. So live and you learn, right? Okay. This is really nice, and I think it's maybe just one handkerchief, and I know I just had the tags for it. It's a poinsettia hanky, brand new in the box. No, you know, well, I have pared down some of my collections, but I do have the, like, a lot of my collections are stored away because I don't want to put up too much in my room, and my room's a giant mess right now as we speak, which is, I hate, but it is what it is. You know, I have my Coca-Cola trays that are put away until I can get shelving up in my room, but, you know, we're, we're working on that. And all of my pinup, like, I have to keep that away because, you know, I got a bunny now, so she likes to chew on stuff, but, yeah. So this is new in the package. And I think it's only one, if I'm not mistaken, because it looks like the corners are just folded over. Yeah, you know what's funny? I go through cycles, like, when I find things that I like. So what I do is, like, you know, I'll, I'll put it downstairs for a while, and when I clean up, because, like, it's a mess right now, and I'm finding stuff that I want to try to sell here and on eBay, I'll be like, oh, yeah, I forgot I had that. But now that I'm like, eh, I'm not so attached to it, I decide to try to sell it. Or if I can't sell it, I just donate it. So it's not like I hoard everything because I go through a lot of things. And then I decide, okay, I really like this, but I'm not really crazy about that anymore. So let me go ahead and try to move it. All righty, Jackie, you have a good night. Make sure Ron is doing well for me. And we will all keep him in our thoughts. So if you all would like the Christmas hanky, it's $8, and it's number one. $8, number one, for the Poinsettia hanky new inbox. Oh, yeah, it's very true. Very, very true. I always forget what I have sometimes. Even when I go thrifting, like, you know, I'll stock up for a few haul videos. And then, you know, when I go to unwrap it, I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot I bought that. And I it was only like a week ago. All right, Martha gets number one. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, I do have some jewelry for you guys. I know I have some people who like some brooches, and that's pretty much all that I'm offering tonight. <laughs> all right. Oh, that's the tag for that. Yo, this is why I shouldn't have taken them off of the, uh... So I have a total of five Christmas brooches. All right, Alex, you have a great night, and I will try to pop on to your sale tomorrow. Remember, guys, Alex and Aaron go live for their sale. It's 1 p.m. Eastern, right? If I'm not mistaken. And then you guys have sales Friday and Saturday, or no, Friday and Sunday, right? Same time. You can put it in the chat if you guys want to. Okay, good. All right, so the first Christmas brooch that I am offering is this one. 
And I'm not sure if one of the ornaments is missing, but this is just how I found it. And this one measures approximately just a little over maybe like one and like about two inches long. And then it's about an inch wide. And is it this one that was giving me the problem with the clasp? Oh, this one is marked Taiwan. So it is a little bit older. Now I can't seem to get the pin out of here and I'm a little afraid to mess with it because I don't want to break it. But I will leave that to the new owner and there is a little bit of paint loss on one of the ornaments on the tree. Like right in here, there's a little bit of wear to the paint. But it would still look great. Bring back the brooch. And I'm asking $8 for it. $8, number 13 for the Christmas tree brooch. Did my light just flicker? Might be time to get another one of these, maybe. All right, so we do have this one. This one's just like a Christmas ball. It's got some really nice intricate detail on it. Absolutely, take care, Julia, get better. And this one I don't think has any marks on it if I'm not mistaken. I don't wanna take it off of the card because I'm afraid I won't be able to get it on. Yeah, very, it very well could be. Another great piece for your Christmas sweater or if you just like brooches. I'm in the process of selling my lake house. When this is all settled, I might have some. Oh, very cool, Judy. Well, I hope the sale of the house goes well. And this one measures just about one and a half inches long. I'm sorry, guys, if it's blurry. I'm sure that there's some streaming going on in the other room. So it's about one inches long and one inches wide. Yeah, I've seen that too. Actually, one of the places that I went to in PA, somebody is selling like a whole frame and they made different things out of old brooches. It was really cool. So I am asking $6 for this one, $6 and it's number 11. $6 number 11 for the, um, I don't want to call it a shiny bright brooch because that's not what it is. $6 number 11 for that. All right. And Belinda gets number 11. Thank you very much. We've got this one too, which is really nice. It almost looks like a ribbon with different poinsettias on it and holly leaves. Now, I don't think this one has any markings on it either, if I'm not mistaken. That's not a mark, is it? Oh, I think it says Jerry on it. So it's a Jerry brooch. Maybe for vintage and vino. <laughs> So there we go. And this one can be yours for $7 and it's number eight. $7, number eight for the ribbon with the poinsettias and the holly leaves. All right, and D from the Thrill of the Thrift gets that. Thank you, D. Now this one is probably my favorite out of all of them. Look at that. I'm not used to this camera, guys. There we go, look at that. Some of the red has worn off of the Christmas tree balls, but that's all right. And it's even got a nice rhinestone on the star up top. And I'm not sure if 
No, I don't think anything's missing. I think that's just how the tree is made. But again, fantastic. Let me see if this one has any markings on it. I don't think it does, and I'm afraid if I take it off of this card, I'm not going to be able to get it back on. So what I think I will do is I will go ahead and take it off of here when I ship it to you guys, because that'll cut down on the the weight of the or the length of the box. This one measures about two and maybe about a little over two inches long. And then it's about just a little over one inches or one inch wide. And if you all would like this brooch, and it does have some wear before I tell you all the prey. Oh, I already saw the number. Some of the green is worn off of it too, but again, that might just be because of age, but it's still overall nice and bright and vibrant. And if you guys would like it, it's $8 and it's number 11. $8 number 11 for the Christmas tree brooch. All right, I see Belinda Carroll for that one. Thank you very much. All right. This next one is really, really nice. It's a wreath. Look at that. Look at that. I'm glad that that focused because that is, that is a really nice one right there. It's a wreath and it's got holly leaves on it, red rhinestones, and this one measures about two inches long and about two inches wide. And I don't know if it's supposed to go, you know what, maybe it's supposed to be like this. Not the way I was holding it. So it's supposed to be like that and I don't see any marks anywhere. And I don't see any missing rhinestones either, which is great. Oh, I'm glad that it arrived safe, Jerry. I'm, I'm always worried when I ship breakables. Ship breakables. I did not say the naughty word. But sometimes ship and that word do sound similar when you're talking. And this brooch is $10. Number 16. $10, number 16, for the enamel brooch. All right, number 16 goes to Belinda. Thank you. All righty. I think we have reached the limit of flat price goods, so we can go ahead and start doing the offer ups. I'm just trying to figure out which one I want to start with. I think we'll start with this guy. He's brand new and sealed in the packaging. He's made in Hong Kong. You can either stand him up or you can put him in a wreath. It'd be a great craft project. And again, new in package. Here is the packaging. It's for the craft. Christmas house and it's made by the James A. Cole company in New York. It does have a zip code. So it's after 1963. And do I have a lot of people interested or do you want me to just do a flat price on it? Because if I'm not sure, that's why I thought about doing an offer because I just was not sure about If anybody, just let me know. Do a flat price, okay. I will just do Isn't he adorable? And he's brand new, you guys. I mean, literally, you will be the first person to enjoy him. He's been sitting in this packaging all these years. All righty. So I will go ahead and 
let's see. How about $15? And if anybody is interested in that, just put Santa in the chat. So $15 and it is Santa. Just put Santa in the chat if you're interested. All right. And I see Belinda Carroll getting him. Thank you very much. We've got this guy here. He's one of those dancing, or like supposed to be dancing Santa Clauses. This one is like all plastic and it looks like he was painted. I don't know if somebody just painted him or if he's supposed to be like this. I think he's supposed to be like this. He's a harder plastic, he's not flocked. And yeah, I mean, no damage to him. I don't see any holes or any cracks or anything on him. He's still got his little pom-pom top, which is a little rough. All right, so I, again, had a hard time deciding what, oh, you know what? Is this damage right here? This looks like some damage up here. You guys see that right here? Didn't even notice that until now, and I've had this thing for a while. I wonder if it's just part of the mold, because his arm is fine, but there's that one little spot right there. Do you all want me to offer this one up, or do you want me to just do another flat price on it? Because I wasn't sure, that's why I put it aside for an offer up. And again, oh, let me measure this for you guys so you know. So this is approximately, it's just about nine inches tall, and it is about four inches wide. So I think what I'll do is I will go ahead and offer it. So we're going to, uh, mom or dad, I'm going to start this. We're going to start it at $10. And if anybody's interested, you can just put in a start of 10 or better in the chat. He's in good shape. I mean, his beard is still here for the most part. He would look great in a vignette. So do I see, do I have anybody interested in starting this or do you want me to just go ahead and end it and we can just do a flat price on it? Just let me know. Okay, let me just, I'll go ahead and end this. And then if anybody's interested, I'll just make a flat price on it. So if anybody wants it, I will do $14. And if you're interested, just put in the color red. Just put red. Oh, I already ended it, Janet. So I'm going to go ahead and start or I'm going to do just a flat price on it. If you're interested, it's $14. Put in the color red. So just put in red in the chat if you want to buy him for a flat price. But I, I had already put end on the... Uh, Uh, 
Okay. So what I'll do is, yeah, I, unfortunately, I didn't see any interest for that little bit of time, so I just ended it, and I'm just doing a flat price. Janet, if you do want it, you can just put in number, number, just put in the color red in the chat, and it's $14, and you can have it if, you'd, if you're interested. Take a sip of water. My mouth is starting to get dry. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so Janet will take it for $14. Thank you, Janet. I'm sorry about the offer up thing. All right. Yeah, it looks like Buns escaped again. I've got this adorable flocked Santa Claus in really good shape. No real issues with him. I mean, look at his face. He's just jolly as can be, and he's giving the side eye. And again, he's in really good condition. No breaks to him. He's not dirty. He's like, he's very clean. Like this guy looks like he was stored away for years. And thank you, Janet, for understanding. I'm truly sorry about that earlier. And this guy. Can be yours. And again, because I wasn't sure. You know what, does he come out? You know what, he does come out of the stand. So you might have to glue him back in if you want to. And again, this guy is in really good condition. Nothing wrong with him. And because of his condition and the fact that he's flocked, I think I'm gonna ask $16 for it. So if you're interested, uh, $16. Type in Xmas, X-M-A-S. So $16, X-M-A-S. No, he's not marked on the bottom, unfortunately. All righty, so first person who typed in Xmas I do see is Belinda Carroll. So thank you very much, Belinda. All right, you guys, so this is going to be a true offer up. If you saw my post on Instagram, I posted a picture of this 1968 Empire Christmas blow mold. As you can see, there is a lot of paint loss on him, but overall, he's still in really good condition. Let me show you all the mark on the bottom. So there is the Empire mark right here. And then here it just says Empire Plastics Corp 1968 made in the US. And there's also like a lot number. I wish there was a way for me to show you that he works because I plugged him in and he does work. Maybe I can. I can plug it in. Let me, oh, you guys can see that here. Let me just take the webcam down for just a second so you guys can see it. I know, but I just like to show it. So you guys can see it. Yep, he lights up. And I know that those cords can be replaced very easily. Okay. 
All right, so this one is going to be a true offer up and we are starting it at $10. Again, he lights up. He's in great shape despite some of the cold paint loss. So we've got Sally Costco starting this at us out at $10 for the awesome Santa Claus blow mold. These do get pretty pricey. At antique malls, I've seen them for absolutely ridiculous amounts of money. And again, he does have the sticker on the back of him. Hi, Tam. I haven't seen you in a long time. I hope everyone is safe where you all are. Yeah, I have, I think, two of them. So this one was just one that I found. Oh, no. Dow, leave me alone. All right, so Sally is at $10. Does anybody want to match 10? It's a great price, you all. Oh, I forgot to measure him for you guys. So he's about 13 and a half inches tall. Hi, Jeannie. And he's about like seven inches wide. He'll fit into a box for sure. And you can't get these at antique malls cheap, guys. So this is a really good starting price. Oh, I don't have my phone in here with me. All right, so I've got Cindy J at $12. This is a great opportunity to get a blow mold. All right, so Sally comes back in at $13. All right, Cindy J, oh no, sorry, Sally has it at 15. Sally comes back in at $15. Cindy comes, oh, she just, Okay, six, uh, yep, Cindy has it at $16. Sally comes back in at 18. So Cindy hits us with $20. All right. Oh, that's one thing I, I always forget that, y'all. So Sally is out. Thank you very much for letting us know. And Trisha is also out. Thank you very much. So we have Cindy at $20. And again, Barbara, thank you for letting us know that you are out. He's a great person or great mold. Here's what the back looks like again. He is. And he would look great with you all's decor. And I know that this is gonna be very easy to ship too. This is not a heavy item. All right, so we do have Cindy J at 20, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in. So Cindy is at 20 going once. All right, so again, we've got Cindy J at $20, if anybody would like to top 20. And again, he does work.
Yeah, there are some people out there who have some amazing glow mold collections, but I like the older ones. When I say older, I mean like pre-1970. All right, everyone, I'm going to call it again. So Cindy J has it at 20, going twice. Oh, do you? You know what? I think years ago we were at an estate sale and we were down in the basement and someone had like one of those giant ones, like floor models. And yeah, they were, it was really cool, but I can't remember what they were asking for it. It was like maybe 20 some bucks, but I wasn't interested in the big ones because where was I going to put it? Hi, Gen Eds. Welcome aboard. Yeah, there are some really cool ones from the 50s. I think the oldest one that I have, I don't even know if I have any Christmas ones from the 50s. Most of them are from the 60s. All right, everyone. So I'm going to go ahead and say sold to Cindy J for $20. Thank you very much, Cindy. You are going to absolutely love this. And again, it's going to be very easy to ship. It is not heavy. And they are absolutely fantastic pieces and you just can't get them cheap anymore. Okay. All right. My last offer up of the day is this really awesome, I believe this is Fenton, ruffled cranberry bowl. It would look great with peppermint candies in it or even sugar cubes on the table. No cracks, no chips. It's got kind of like a ribbed handle. And let's see. I don't even know how I would measure this. So the basket itself is four inches and about three inches uh, wide. But with the handle, it goes, it's about eight inches tall. Isn't it pretty? It's got opalescence in it too, like as you can see on the top. And it's even got opalescence on the side. Now don't quote me, I don't know if it's Fenton or not, but I have a pretty good feeling that it is. It's not hobnail, but again, it's insanely beautiful and would look great with anything peppermint, sugar cubes, or anything. Again, no cracks, no chips. And we are starting this out. I'm gonna start this a little bit higher because I did pay up for it. So I'm gonna start it at $20. And we'll see if anybody offers anything up for that. So again, it's a really beautiful basket. All right, so BJ has it at 30. It's, again, this is an absolutely beautiful piece. No cracks, no chips. And would look great displayed on your table for Christmas time. Yes, everyone, please hit the thumbs up button. It really does help push my live into the YouTube algorithm. Thank you all very much. Again, no cracks, no chips. Yep, BJ, we got you for 30 bucks. Thank you. You know, maybe I should have measured it from... So it's about seven inches, like seven and a half inches long from the top. And the handles, I don't know if I mentioned, are applied. See, there it is. The handle is applied on both sides. Does anybody else want a top 30? Because this is the last item of the night. And then maybe I'll show a couple of things that didn't sell. Maybe somebody will want them. Again, this is a really nice piece of cranberry glass. And this isn't flash on, like, this is legit nice glass.
All right, you guys. So BJ has it at $30 going once. She probably would, Jody. I bet you she would really like this. Oh, so Tam has it at 31. So now the best price to beat is $31. Don't know where that came from. All right, so Tammy has it at, uh, BJ has it at 35. It's a nice, again, a nice ruffled basket with a grate with anything in it. Could you imagine maybe like the spearmint peppermints in here? To kind of like go with the pink. All righty, everyone. So we do have BJ at $35. I'm going to go ahead and call that. So BJ at 31 going once. 35, sorry. Going once at $35. Yes, mini candy canes. All right, so BJ Duke is at $35. So you have the to top $35. Yeah, it is a nice piece. A little bit more on the elegant side for me, but that's perfectly okay. I know there's someone out there who's gonna really like this. Again, a nice ribbed handle on it, so it's easier to hold on to, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. I'm getting everybody all jazzed for peppermint candy. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and call that again. So BJ is at $35 going twice. Yes, peppermint ice cream would be good. No worries, Poodle. Thank you for coming on. You guys all don't have to buy something if you come to the sale. I just like when you all are here. It's fun to interact with you all and just kind of vent from today. Peppermint ice cream does sound really good. You know, I have a creamery right down the road here that I could just walk to and I could go get some peppermint ice cream if I wanted to. All right, everyone, we are going to go ahead and call it. BJ, you get this really nice basket for $35. Thank you very much. You are going to absolutely love this. There's so many things you can do with this, not just at Christmas time. You could put, put it with your shabby chic stuff. But thank you very much for that, that you are gonna absolutely have a blast using this. All right, everyone, we are getting close to the eight o'clock hour. I do have a couple of things that did not sell. Do you guys want me to show them again? And it won't take very long at all. Whoa. So I am offering two of these Homco Cubist fairy lamps. Here's what it looks like with the lights on. So I've got two of those. If anybody's interested, I am asking a flat price of $25. And you just type in number 23. And the first two people we see on our end who type in the number 23 will get one of these fairy lamps. Hi, Releve. I think your name is Kat, if I'm not mistaken. Do you? You know what? I think I've seen the amber ones before. Yes. I make sure you all go over to Pam's channel. I can't remember if I linked it or not in this um, 
video. Um, if someone wants to drop Pam and Trisha's links in the chat, please do so so you guys can watch their sales. They're coming up very soon. So I see Gina Marie for $25 for one of them. Yes, thank you, Katie. And then is there anybody else who would like one? Because I'm offering one more tonight for 23 or for $25, number 23. Hi, Ancestral Beginnings. All right, so Gina and Delbert will take one of each of these fairy lambs for 25 bucks. Thank you very much. All right. All right, so I have, I think, three more things that didn't sell tonight, or just a few more things that didn't sell tonight. There's one more. <laughs> I have the Tin Deco Choir Tin. Again, it measures... Where's my tape measure? So about 10 inches long and 10 inches wide. And then from the lid to the base, it is about three and a half inches tall. And I'm asking $15 and it's number two. $15, number two for the really neat looking Christmas tin. Yeah, I can put my email in, Delbert. I'll type that in right here. There you are. Oh, and Katie already did it for me. Thank you, Katie. So again, if anyone's interested, $15, number two. Artsy fartsy, do you ever sell duplicates of your girl arcade cards? I actually am slowly but surely building up another lot of those because sometimes when I buy the lots on eBay, I get duplicates of ones I already have. Or if those ones are in better shape, I'll add those to my collection and subtract the ones that are not in the best shape, or at least to my standards, and then I will lot them on eBay. So that way I pay for the ones that I kept and I make a little bit of money in the process. All right, I do have one more piece of Moon and Stars that did not sell. It's the open compote. Again, no cracks or chips to it. It is $8, and if anyone's interested, it's number 20. $8, number 20 for the open compote. Again, would look great with peppermint candies in it. Could put a whole stack of them in there. All right, and Poodle gets number 20. Thank you very much. And then I've got this cold painted, like, he's got an attitude. <laughs> His paint's a little messed up and faded from age, but he's very cool. And I was asking $7 for that, and it's number 29 if anyone's interested. $7, number 29, for the accordion boy. It's almost like an alabaster, maybe like ceramic or something. Moon and Stars is cool stuff. Yeah, there you go. Nothing wrong with finding some coins in the couch because that adds up. So if anyone's interested, that is $7, number 29. All right, and I do have that one brooch, that one other brooch that did not sell. If anybody's interested, it's $8 and it's number 13. I do think one of the ornaments is missing out of that one tree, but I could be wrong about that. Thank you, Black Dog Vintage and Antiques. So we've got $8, number 13, for that one brooch that did not sell, if anyone's interested. Oh, I was having it face the wrong way. Ooh. We had Domino's last night, but usually the local places, the ones that are not like a franchise, are usually better. 
Any takers on that one? If not, it is no biggie. Okay, everyone, it is eight o'clock now, and that is everything that I would like to offer to you all tonight. Thank you all very much to everyone who bid. If you are new, please make sure you email me your information, meaning your YouTube name, your PayPal email, your shipping address, so that way I can get you your items. I am not going out shopping tomorrow, so I will be at home cleaning up and taking care of some listings for eBay. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get my invoices done tomorrow night, so that way Monday, Tuesday, I can spend shipping it, and by Thursday, I will hopefully have everything done, so that way I can just make one giant trip to the post office. Again, thank you all very much for tuning in, and if you made purchases tonight, I really, truly appreciate it. And if there was something that you saw that did not sell in the video and you want to work out a deal, I can definitely do that. Again, just email me, skullking95680 at yahoo.com. Make sure you all hit the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you are as well because I like to post videos at least three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It goes up at midnight. That way I can schedule it. So if I'm asleep, it goes live. And then I also try to do live sales at least twice a month. At some point, I do want to go ahead and try to do more of that. But my hours with my retail job have literally just been through the roof lately. So I have to do what I can do. Again, make sure you all go over to Pamela's channel. She is having her sale and I completely overlapped. So Pam, if you're watching this, I apologize. And then Trisha is going live at 10 o'clock Eastern. So I will see you all soon. I'm going to go get some dinner and then I'm going to pop on to Pamela's live sale. So again, thank you all very much, and I hope to see you all soon. Take care, everyone.